Global giants Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Salesforce and Facebook are just some companies that are slashing jobs amid recession fears. But are layoffs the wrong move? How do job cuts impact the long-term trust and confidence of the remaining employees? Leadership expert Craig Johns joins us. Good afternoon to you, Craig. Why are we seeing so many job cuts and hiring freezes? Hey, good afternoon, Mon. Obviously, we're, we're facing a time that's a little bit uncertain. We've just been through the pandemic, which caught a lot of people off guard when it comes to their businesses, and we're caught in that phase of we need to kind of look after our staff we might have funding from government supporting us but we're now at a phase where the companies have started to recuperate money but there's just so much uncertainty and unknown and so they're at a point now where you've probably got pressures happening from the board of directors around making sure that the company can stay afloat that we're not hitting too much of the reserves or dropping too far so we're seeing companies now who are kind of hitting the panic button maybe to go, look, we need to reduce the bottom line. So we're going to do this by removing people. Uh, whereas we're seeing some other companies like IBM who over time generally tend to hold their people during recession, which could be a better option. Craig, layoff decisions, they're not necessarily personal in uncertain economic times, but is there anything people can do to protect their jobs ahead of a potential recession? Yeah, I, I think from a, a person point of view, look, once a company decides they're going to reduce headcount, it's quite a challenge. I, I think from obviously anyone who's an employee, if they can showcase ways that they can reduce the bottom line without removing people, it obviously helps with their position. The key thing is to stay positive. You know, if you can be positive, you can bring value to your company, you've got a greater chance of being of staying in those roles if a company is looking to reduce headcount. And we've heard a lot of commentary suggesting that the economy is shifting to an uncertain future. So what sort of leadership styles should managers be using at this time? Yeah, look, it, it's difficult as a leader when you're going into a space where you may need to reduce headcount and, and you might be going to recession. We got to, you know, drop the bottom line. But in in most cases where you can, being able to actually speak with your team and just showcase them look this is what we know this is what we don't know right now here are the actions that we are currently deciding through uh, and you know just try and be there and respect them as human beings in whatever happens they are a human being we shouldn't treat them as an asset or a, a something that is tangible we, we've got to treat them as human beings and on that note we'll have to leave it there craig johns thank you very much for your time you're welcome. Thank you.